marshmallows are very delicious. Ah, uh, sorry, Strawberry, but I'm really on a roll over here. Almost halfway done with my step-by-step -step how to set up a tent segment of my instructional video. Well, I just have to say, Orange, Cherry, and Plum, those were some great stories you told. Oh, yes, wonderful. Eh, I wouldn't say that. Oh? Well, why not, Sour? Oh, nothing, really. Just that. Well, my sister Sweet and I have a much better tale to tell. We do? Don't you remember? Remember what? Our way more awesome, incredibly dangerous, and gigantically exciting adventure than they had story? Let's hear it! Ooh! Can't wait! Do tell! Wait a minute. Shouldn't we write something out first? And, you know, maybe practice? Nah, just relax. Make it up as you go along. Like you're cooking. I do not make up my cooking as I go along. I follow the recipe exactly. Yeah, I've noticed. A real chef <gasps> knows how to improvise. Did I hear someone say something about topping our stories? <laughs> 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 you did indeed. Take it. Huh? <clears throat> well, once upon a time, a long, long time ago, um, there were two little girls named Sweet and Sour, and they... <gasps> Can you give it just a little more punch? Punch? You know, sock. Uh... Zip, sizzle, pizzazz. Ah, uh, here, watch. What my sister meant to say was, this is the story of something that happened to us a long time ago. But not enough. It's burned everlastingly into our memory. It is? I mean, it was? Help me out here, will you, sweet? Yes. Yes, it was. I mean, is. Ever last, last, ever... What she said. Ah, it makes me tremble to think of that night. That dark, dangerous night in very deep, dark forest. night was just a job like any other night. Full of risk. Full of danger. But someone had to do it. And that someone was... me. There wasn't a moment to lose. We were on a mission of mercy. An expedition of the Berrykin Exploration Society was stranded in the very deep dark forest. Without the food supplies in our truck, they'd have to go to bed without dinner. And that was something we had vowed would not happen. Uh, excuse me? Question? Oh, uh, no big deal, but you keep saying we, so I was just kind of wondering. Where was Sweet? Uh, me? Well, I was... Asleep. Asleep? Off in Dreamland. Out like a light. So, while Sweet snoozed, I raced us down the road on our mission of... Excuse me. <sighs> Question? Just asking, just asking. But, uh, with all that bouncing and noise, how could she sleep? She'd just eaten a very heavy meal, okay? Why, yes, a very heavy meal. That's right. So I... It started with a watercress salad tossed with a rich raspberry vinaigrette dressing topped with a sprinkling of crispy croutons. I... Next came a savory noodle soup with lentils, peas, celery, and carrots gently simmered in a broth of... Sweet! Where were we? Oh, yeah. On a mission 
of mercy. Everything was going simply swell. Until all of a sudden... It wasn't. We were stuck in the mud! Ugh. We weren't stuck! We were sinking! And this wasn't mud! It was a bottomless pit of very, very quicksand! There was only one thing to do. was over, but only for the moment. It would not be over over until I got the truck out of there. <laughs> but even with my magnificently muscle tone strength, it wouldn't budge. a serious problem, and then I had it! I would go for help! <gasps> Uh-oh, I'd have to go for help fast! If the vine broke, the truck would sink, and the Barricans would go to bed without any dinner! Oh yeah, and I'd never see my sister again. And so I set off alone. One girl against the wilderness. Uh, excuse me. Question. Why didn't you just wake her up? Yeah, why not wake me up? Are you kidding? Do you know what you're like when someone interrupts your nap time? You are bad news. Mm-mm, no thank you. Uh-uh. I am not. Are two. Am not. Two. Not. Huh? When? Now, uh, where was I? Going off against the wilderness. Ah, yes. There I was. One girl against the wilderness. One girl deep in the dense, daunting darkness. And did I say dangerous? <gasps> so, there I was, smack in the middle of the most dangerous adventure I'd ever been on. And I've been on plenty. An avalanche in the very big mountains? Pfft. Trapped aboard a sinking ship in a hurricane? Ha! This one topped them all. Jump in any time, will ya? I would, if I knew where you were going with it. Well, how am I supposed to know? This is called improv, don't you know? As I was saying, I had to get help. And fast. But where? It was a big forest. A very big forest. Hey! I'm trying to navigate, do you mind? Expert tracker though I was, it was no use. The stars could tell me which way was north, <gasps> if only I could see them. They say moss grows on the north side of trees. <gasps> forest, it grew on every side. There was no use denying it. I was absolutely, completely, totally lost! You are not the only one. And then I heard it! <gasps> <laughs> heard what? Drums.
even close. Okay, I'll try it again. <sighs> one, two, one, two, three, four. Ugh. Ugh. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. What was it? Wild animals? A lost civilization? No, this stinking, overgrown forest. But now, I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. Wild animals are lost civilizations I could buy, but <gasps> this? No way. What, what was, was it? it? Don't ask me. I'm asleep in the truck, remember? I'll tell you what it was. It was... It was... A rock. Band. Can't you keep the bait? It isn't me. It's that woodpecker. Every time I get a good beat going, he messes me up. See? And I keep telling you, ignore him. Stick your fingers in your ears and go la la la. If you don't find the beat, we don't get the gig. You want to spend the rest of your career playing for crickets and frogs? Frog stopped coming a month ago. Just crickets now. Oh, and that rabbit who keeps requesting row, row, row your boat. Well, this was just what I was looking for. A bunch of people who weren't doing anything important and who would be thrilled to help me save a bunch of berrykins from a fate worse than no num-nums. Oh, and save my sister from sinking in the bottomless thingy. <sighs> So, what'd you do? What anyone who was lost in the woods would do. I called for help. Um, help! Huh? <gasps> uh huh? An, An audience! Hello, hello, We're hello! We're Pinky and the Ponytails. She's Pinky. I'm Penny. That's Patty. Music, mirth, and merriment is our thing. So sit right down. The show starts now. Um, but I, well, see, I'm. Is this thing on? <laughs> really good to see you here. Last concert, nobody showed up at Frogs. The gig croaked. <laughs> Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me with a little problem I have back there. See, I. La, la, la! Hmm? There goes your audience. I'd heard better music the day I pogo stick to town with an accordion tied to my head. I was so out of there. Or so I thought. No, 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 no! Don't go! Show's just starting! We're just warming up! Here, we'll do one of our biggest requests. And a one, two, three, four! Row, row, row your boat, row, row, row your boat.
I mean, this was getting a bit too much. I was just this far from telling the Berrykins to go gather their own grub. <laughs> just a figure of speech! And then there was my sister. I mean, could I let her down? Hmm. Nah. Well, thanks for that, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever did you do? Well, what else? The only thing a hero can do in a case like this. I... I... Ran for my life! and the ponytails weren't going to catch me. <gasps> Not this graduate of the Berry Bitty Correspondent School of Super Heroics. We love to play the great outdoors. The other day, Patty pretended she was a tree. I said, then why don't you make like a tree and leave? Ha 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 one, two, three, four! Row, row, row. Indeed, you ask. <laughs> well, I... I... I didn't do anything. Huh? Uh -huh. I didn't know what to do. <sighs> Fresh out of ideas. Then how'd you escape? She saved me. Wow! So you're the hero. Come on, tell how'd us! You do it, sweet? Well, it's... Sort of hard to remember. Uh, can't blame ya. It's almost a blur to me, too. Well, there I was. In more misery than the day I had nothing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner but Brussels sprouts and lima beans. When all of a sudden, we heard it. Hey, who's playing that? Oh, yeah, great beat! It was my sister, Sweet. Woke up from her nap and was waiting for me to return. <laughs> well, Sweet Beat just beat that woodpecker all to pieces. And Pinky and the Ponytails found their beat. was just one more problem to take care of. Pinky and the Ponytails found their beat, and the Berrykins got their dinner. That's great! What a great story! Wonderful! So everything ended happily. Yeah, it was, uh... Why, yes! Pinky and the Ponytails had a hit record and, um, became mega stars, and they were so grateful that they changed their name to... Two sweets and a sour.
incredible manicure ever! But there's more! <laughs> They're musical! Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I call them Glamicures! They're the greatest! The very best! Most creative salon beautification! since raspberry lip gloss. I'm so glad you like them. This is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamicure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. Mr. Longface. Just having a little swim. The weather's so nice. 
<laughs> oh well. Uh, it it was nice weather. So, uh, how do you like your glamour here? Oh, it's just um uh wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. And waterproof. <gasps> waterproof? Oh, is that so? Yeah, won't wash off, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> how lucky for us. <laughs> in there, but all day and all night? I can't think straight. Try dancing to two tunes at the same time. The one you're supposed to dance to and the one coming from your glamicure. I think people aren't coming to the store as much because they're getting tired of the glamicure music. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> maybe Raspberry and Blueberry can think of something. Oh, good idea. In the meantime, let's get out of here. So, what do we do now? I don't know. What can we do? You say you want a pan of stew? No, I said what can we do? Well, the first thing we can do is get rid of these earmuffs. They're almost as bad as the glamicures. So, what do we do? Okay. Everybody hold your hands very still. <sighs> Look, we have to tell Lemon that these things just aren't working out. But how could we do that? She's so proud of them. I know. I've never seen her so thrilled about something. It would hurt her feelings to learn the truth. I'm not gonna be the one to tell her. If she found out that we don't like her glamicures, well, she, she, oh, she might stop giving manicures altogether. Why, she might even stop giving hair stylings. And she might not speak to us ever again. She might close the salon and move away. And it'd be our fault for being so cruel. You're right. Strawberry'd never do something like that. She's too considerate. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right. She's really nice about things what like this. I take back what I said about telling Lemon. I would go to the ends of the earth rather than hurt her feelings. I would go beyond the ends of the earth. Well, I would. Uh, I would. I would put up with my glamicure forever. Us too. It's decided. We'll never tell Lemon her glamicures are driving us crazy. Right! It's a really simple step, Orange. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, three. One, two, three. Four, one, three. Two, seven, eight. Nine! Oh! <sighs> if that isn't the signal for nap time, nothing is. Huh? What? for a picnic, but they haven't shown. That's odd. I wonder what happened. It seems as if Blueberry and Plum have been avoiding me, too. I wonder if they're mad at me. Mad at you? Maybe I did something wrong, or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't see how anyone couldn't like you. I know. How about if I do my pruning later, and I'll picnic with you? Oh, Strawberry, thank you. 
And then, when we're done, you could go by the other girls' places and ask them if everything's okay. Ask them? Oh, oh my, no. I couldn't do that. I know it's scary sometimes to ask difficult questions, but wouldn't you rather know the truth than imagine bad things? Oh, but what if the truth is something just terrible? Could it be more terrible than what you're already afraid of? Maybe they don't like me anymore? Well, uh, I guess you have a point. What if you ask them for me? Uh, I think it's better coming from you. More direct, you know? But I'll be happy to go with you if you'd like. I'll think about it. After our picnic. Sounds good. Hey, look! Strawberry had the same idea. <laughs> Gardening gloves. That's good. But isn't she afraid Lemon will catch on? Oh, oh, oh looks like she's taking them off. Oh, poor Strawberry. Such a kind soul to picnic with Lemon and endure that <gasps> music. Oh, I feel so bad avoiding Lemon's invitation for a picnic. Uh, me too. But I just couldn't bear to listen to my Glamacure. Be strong. We made a vow to live with our Glamacures and not tell Lemon. No matter how tired we are, no matter how many picnics we have to miss. Deal? Deal. You're right, Strawberry. I have to talk to my friends. And now's as good a time as any. But you'll come along, right? Sure. Whoops! Oops! Oh, oh no! Uh, got it! Oh, uh, thanks, Lemon! Oh, hi, Strawberry! Hello! I, uh... Just drop by to see if everything's, you know, okay. Okay? Well, sure. What wouldn't be okay? Everything's just great. Oh, sorry about the picnic. Just got so busy in the store. Oh, I see. That's fine. Strawberry joined me. Uh, so is your Glamicure working okay? Okay? Well, sure. Light's nice and bright? So bright, you almost need sunglasses. <laughs> oh, good. Plenty of music? Ooh, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> well, thanks. I just wanted to see if everything was okay. As okay as an O and a K can be. Cookbook. Hi, Blueberry. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Um, is this a bad time? Is everything okay, Blueberry? Okay? I uh, couldn't be better. Why, I was just sorting books to the tune of my glamour here. <laughs> Oh, good. I was just... Well, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything to... Well, you know, bother you? Bother me? Why, no, no! Okay, that's good. Well, I'll see you around then. Nice to see you, Lemon! Strawberry! <sighs> that was close. Bosley! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my. <sighs> Hi, Raspberry. What are you sewing? Oh. Everything okay, Raspberry? What are you making? Oh, just stuff. You know, stuff. Just, uh, trying my new over, under, through, and back stitch. <laughs> hey, 
Did I mention how much I love my glamicure? Thanks, Plum. See you later. You were right. Everything is fine. I think. You think? Well, everyone said so, but I had a teeny tiny feeling that maybe something wasn't right. Huh. Oh well, it must have just been me. I guess. I'm just glad that you spoke to everyone. That took courage, Lemon. Thanks. Yeah, I do feel better. I guess. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Poor things. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here. I need your help with something. <gasps> Look! Strawberry? Where'd they go? What happened to your glamicure? Oh, it wasn't working out for me. It was a little too bright and distracting. <gasps> I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How'd you do it? I just told Lemon how I felt, and she removed it. You told her? But, 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 is she all right? Oh, did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? We... we won't make her feel... bad? You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes, we should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell Lemon the truth! <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? You go. Now you go. After you. No, you. Wow, do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... Uh... The Glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, but why? <laughs> I never, I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Ooh, we didn't hurt your feelings? Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. I've got a great idea. New and improved Super Glamicures! Uh, super uh, Glamicures? Really? I don't um, know. Don't worry. I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh, controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah! All great ideas. Yeah! Especially the off switch. Does everyone have everything they need? 
we do, Strawberry. Thanks for asking. Yes, we do. <laughs> then dig in. <laughs> what was that? Oh, is it the Fairy King marching band practice season already? No, that's not for another month. Wait. Let's go find oh, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we gotta see what this is. That is very What's exciting. What's going on? We want to <laughs> announce. <laughs> We, we want, want to announce. I beg your pardon. Oh, no, I beg you. No, 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 no. After you. No, after you. No, 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 you first. No, 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 no. I insist. One ladybug argument coming up. <laughs> Why don't we say it together? What a wonderful idea, Ladybug. We're starting a new club. And we want you to join. Club? Run by Sadiebug and Katiebug? But they're always arguing. How much fun could that club be? Unless it's a debate club. Behold! Our Good, Good Citizens, Citizens Club! See? We even have membership pins. A Good Citizens Club? Really? They do seem to be getting along. Maybe they've turned over a new leaf. Make it a whole tree. Pardon me, but what exactly does a good citizens club do? What exactly is a citizen? A member of the community. So a good citizen is... A kind and helpful member of the community. Uh, yeah! <laughs> and good citizens do... Good citizens eat things. Like bringing soup to sick fairy kids? Donating old clothes to the needy? Keeping very bitty city clean? Uh, sure. <laughs> and if you do something really good, Citizen Z, you get membership pins. <laughs> See? Ooh, a membership pin. And we even have a motto. Oh, what is it? Happy to serve others. Oh, oh wow, well, that's really good. Amazing. Amazing. I like that. <laughs> So, what's next? Do we do helpful things for the community and its citizens? You got it! Just do as many of those things as you can before our first meeting tomorrow evening at the Good Citizens Clubhouse! And then we can talk about uh, those uh, Good citizens -y things that we all did! And think up some new ones, too? Definitely! Sure thing! Why not? Yay! <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait! Last minute special delivery! Super duper really important highly special good citizens club first meeting reminders! Sorry, my fault. No, 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 my fault. Not mine. Please make sure you deliver all of them before tomorrow. bring some snacks or something to the meeting tonight. Do you have any crackers? Hi, Plum. Sure, I'll get them. Wow, Orange. Pretty. Oh, isn't it? My Good Citizens Club membership pin. It came in the mail. Where's yours? Um, my mail hasn't come yet. <laughs> hey, Plum, what do you think? I created a whole new fashion statement to go along with my Good Citizens Club membership pin. Wow! That's a very creative idea, Raspberry. I love it. Nice outfit, Raspberry. Oh, wow! Oh, you look great! Oh, yes, fantastic! I have to go check my mailbox. I can't wait to see my pin. <gasps> I didn't get one! Why didn't I get one? How am I supposed to go to the meeting tonight without a membership pin? I don't understand. Well, I'll just have to ask the ladybugs what happened. Maybe she went to do a good citizen thing by herself. Well, I'm sure she'd like to join us. It's way more fun to work together. Let's leave her a note on the door. We'll tell her that we're over at the Berry Grove helping the Berrykins dig a new path for a stream so that it will go around the grove instead of right through it. Very good idea. Over here! No, over here! It'll be way oh, good! Here. 
better here. It'll be way better here. No, here. <clears throat> no, here. Excuse me. Oh, Plum. We were having a, um, discussion about where to put the banner. Where, where would you, you put it? it? Uh, right in the middle? <laughs> Excuse me. But the other girls have Good Citizens Club membership pins. And I'm just wondering what I need to do to get mine. Is there some sort of test or something I have to pass to show I can serve others? Uh, Plum, would you mind giving us some privacy for a moment so we can have a, um... A, um, club leaders conference. Of course. I'll be just right outside ready for my test. You forgot to send her pin. Did not. Must have been you. You're always forgetting something. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you ready with my test? What are we going to do? We can't lose her as a member of our club. I guess we'd better give her a test like she wants. Oh, uh, right. But we don't have a good citizens club test to give. <laughs> Well, she said she wants a test on serving others. Oh, Plum! Ready to show I can be a good citizen. Do you want to be in the Good Citizens Club? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I still can't hear you. You must take the test of good citizenness. Whatever it is, I'll do my very best. Yes, yes, yes. So, your first test will be to paint the clubhouse inside and out so it looks nice before the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club. Inside and out? <sighs> uh, is that too hard? Because instead you could... Absolutely not too hard for me. I am happy to do my best to make the Good Citizens Club look fabulous for everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. Start on that side. You're blocking my tan over there. I don't know. I think that blue clashes with my eyes. Can you do a lighter shade? What's that? Here. Give me the paintbrush. That's more like it. That looks like a rabbit. It looks like a flower. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. <sighs> Finish. Are you sure you think it's not good? Should you do it over? No, no. It looks terrific. Really. Let's wait to get the other member's opinion before we go changing anything. So is that it? Do I get my pin now? Well, uh, you finished the first test. Congratulations! First test? How many are there? Uh, uh, three. Yeah, three's good. Yeah, we always use three. Uh huh, three. Oh. <sighs> I wonder where Plum is. Yeah, she's missing all the mud. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Just what exactly does this have to do with being a good citizen? Well, all that painting made me hungry. And all that painting made me thirsty. And obviously, we need snacks and drinks for tonight's meeting, right? Yes. I actually have some crackers I was going to bring. That's it. We'll need a lot more than just crackers. And drinks, too. And we need to sample the snacks and drinks first, of course. But what does snack tasting have to do with good citizenship? It's, um, making sure it's good. For the citizens, of course. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Happy, Happy to, to serve, serve others! Okay. I can make peanut butter and glimmerberry sandwich surprises. Blueberry and lemon will like those. And kiwi smoothies. Huh. Dear Plum, 
When you're finished, we are over at the Berry Grove helping the Berrykins dig a new path for a stream. Oh, no! The other girls are already doing good deeds for the community. I'm so behind. I've got to hurry. members, too. Uh, oh. Well, okay. These will do. Time to move on to test number three. Number three? You're only one test away from your membership pin. Well, okay. But this is the last one. Just give us a sec to have another club leaders conference. <laughs> in the community garden is a great project for the Good Citizens Club. And I have all the right things to do it with. And I have just the right design for it, too. This is gonna be great. Plum will love it, too. She loves planting flowers. I wish I knew what she was doing all day. It's almost time for the club meeting. She definitely wouldn't miss the first meeting. She came by this morning and picked up some crackers for all of us. That's so nice of her. Let's go by and pick her up. Well, did you decide yet? What's my final test? Uh, this place could use a little color, but I already painted it. Pink, like you wanted. What she means is color and fragrance. So, cut some flowers from the community garden to decorate the clubhouse with. How about I gather some flowers from the forest? But the prettiest flowers are in the community garden. You aren't supposed to pick flowers from the community garden. Those flowers are for everyone to enjoy in the garden, not for us to take home for ourselves. I'll pick some flowers from the meadow. My favorite ones are in the community garden. But community service isn't about what your favorites are. Don't you understand? If everyone picked those flowers for themselves, soon there wouldn't be any left. And no one in Berry Bitty City would be able to enjoy them anymore. Uh, we could enjoy them. We thought you wanted to serve others. Others like us. We thought you wanted to be a good citizen like everyone else in the club. <laughs> well, are you going to pick those flowers? No. Saying no is simply unheard of in the Good Citizens Club. Then I guess I can't be in your club. <laughs> can't be in our club? But, but you, you have to be! I'm sure you've been busy being a good citizen. Good to see you again. Where have you been all day, fellow good citizen? You've been doing good citizenly things. <laughs> Gee, was it something I said? Something certainly not right. Plum? <laughs> What's wrong, Plum? Tell us. We're your friends. I'm not a good citizen. 
What? But Plum, you're one of the very, very best citizens I know. I... I didn't pass the test that you all passed, so I'm not in the club. Test? What test? I didn't take any test. I didn't take a test. Did you? Nope, not me. I don't think anyone did. What are you talking about, Plum? The ladybugs didn't give you tests? Then how come you all have membership pins and I don't? Didn't yours come in the mail? I don't know what's going on, but I think it's time for us to have a good citizen word with the ladybugs. That one. No. That one. You call that a flower? Now that's a flower. <laughs> and like you would know, are you saying I can't pick a flower? I am saying that you couldn't pick a flower to pick if the flower picked you! Uh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Early for the meeting, are we? We're here to find out why you gave Plum a good citizen's test and not any of us. Um, sorry. Uh, we can give you girls tests too if you want. Why would any of us have to take a test at all? Especially Plum. Plum is always a good citizen. You weren't going to cut the community flowers, were you? Um, well, yeah, because Plum wouldn't, so we have to. Plum wouldn't? No. It was her final test. But she said no. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, excuse me. How come I never got a good Citizens Club membership pin, but everyone else did? We don't know why you never got it. We, um, mailed your pin out with the others. But, but what about the tests? We sort of, kind of got the idea from you. Me? Well, you seemed like you really wanted to take one, so... Because I thought all my friends had. You don't have a clue about what makes a good citizen, do you? <laughs> Why did you start this club anyway? Well, um, so we could be in a club. And be, you know, really popular. And be the leaders. Like the bosses of the club. No one's ever wanted us in a club before. I guess now we know why we're not very good citizens. Sadie Bug, oh, Katie Bug. I think your idea for a good citizens club is a great idea. You do? But you definitely didn't follow your own club's mission. Happy to serve others. You have to be the ones to serve others, not others serving you. We're so sorry for not acting like good citizens. And we promise we'll do better from now on. Strawberry, will you take over as club leader? I'm glad to see you've learned your lesson, but... Hmm, I know someone who has already proven she'd make a perfect club leader. Cutting the community flowers and taking them for yourselves isn't being a good citizen. But saying no to something you feel is not good for the community was a brave and very good citizen-y thing to do, Plum. idea that the club do something good for the entire community by planting more flowers in the community garden. And after that, we can spruce up the town gazebo. And maybe some warm scarves for the Ferricans for the winter. A stylish ones, of course. And we can, um, um, um... Oh, 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 oh! We eat snacks! <laughs> for our club to do. I call for a vote. All in favor? Aye! The ayes have it. Aye! Aye! And now I officially declare that at the club
close of our first meeting of the Good Citizens Club, we should sing a song. Everyone listen up, hear my proclamation about taking dreams seriously. Erase your fears, don't worry about perfection. All that matters is what you believe. Feel inspired, learn. enough of the limelight, so I hope you don't mind, Strawberry, but the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band, and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> There's so much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Oh, uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. Galoshes if it rains. <laughs> Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for, for us. us! Wow. We're going to Berry Big City. That's a long way. <laughs> Uh, uh how, how are we gonna get there? Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh! 
Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. We'll be taking my bus to Berry Big City. Do you think it'll make the trip okay? Hmm. Well, if anybody can do it, it's probably me. <gasps> Wonderful! And could you do one more thing with the bus? Hmm. When do you need it? Tomorrow. Hmm. <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> There's so much to do. Where's my sprocket wrench? When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Let's make a plan. Together we can. We're invincible. Ah, strawberry. Would you have any of that marvelous mulberry pie? The very best pie in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> Why, thank you, Berry Kim Bloom. Right away. What is this? Don't tell me. You're rearranging the cafe? No. You're looking for a treasure. No, no. You're 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 going on a trip. Yes! <laughs> All the way to very big city! Oh, a magnificent metropolis. I haven't been there since. <gasps> what? <gasps> if you're there and I'm here, how will I get any pie? Oh! Uh that's a very good question. Hiya, Orange. What you doing? Where are you going? And why? We're all going away on a long trip. <sighs> but what about us? Where will we get things like this? And that? And these? <gasps> Where will my customers go? A critical matter indeed. What will happen to us and what will happen to Berry Bitty City? There'll be no one to take care of my store. Or Lemon's Beauty Salon, Blueberry's Bookshop, Plum's Dance Studio, Cherry's Music Lessons, Strawberry's Cafe, anything! Maybe we can show the Berrykins how to run things while we're gone. Brilliant plan! We, the Berrykins, shall take charge! For duty, for honor, for Berry Bitty City! Yeah! 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 Don't forget the scent stems! My customers love them! Check. When do I give the facial? After you set out the magazines. You want to make the salon experience a pleasure. Got it. Pleasure. Now, Mud? Okay, I think you're ready to... Oh! Uh, oh, my! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Eric and Belle! What? Did I miss a spot? I think we're gonna need a little more practice. I'll have the tossed salad, please. Tossing salad! Tossing the tossed salad! Oh, that was... Very good, but next time, don't forget the plate. Oh! Well, it's, uh, different. When reading aloud, you must create the proper mood for your listener. Yes, the mood. Yes. <laughs> I'll find the missing red pepper under R. Hmm. Pepper goes in the P section. And sweet basil does not go under S. It may be sweet, but it goes in B for basil, sweet or not. This isn't 
working. They're doing the best they can, but oh, there's no way I can leave them in charge of my store. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'll just have to stay here. The rest of us go on without you? I'm sorry, Strawberry. But Orange, we need you in the band. Maybe if you show the Berrykins exactly what they need to know to run your store while you're gone, I'm sure they could get it right next time. Oh, okay. Let's give it another try. There! <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Now then, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, never mind. That's where it's supposed to be. Aha! No, I guess that does go there. All in all, it's more or less basically perfect. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Phew! <laughs> now you can go on the trip with us. <laughs> Looks that way, huh? <gasps> Strawberry and the Sweet Beats Band tour bus. <laughs> well, what do you think? Fantastic! Oh, oh American Bruce, it's beautiful. Well, I figured if you're going to Berry Big City, why not go in style? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're all packed. We were supposed to leave an hour ago. What's keeping her? She's just having a little trouble deciding what to pack. She'll be here any... Um... Minute... We're gonna need a bigger bus. I'm afraid there's not enough room for all of that, Orange. But I, I can't leave any of it behind. Uh, not even two dozen jars of assorted jams and jellies? Well, I could maybe take just one dozen. Your store's entire stock of tape, paper clips, and envelopes? Well, you never know when you're gonna need... Come on, girls. Let's get the rest of this loaded on the bus. Book of nursery rhymes that I. No! Not that one! Read this one! It's a lot better! Really? Well, uh, the case of the slinking, slinking slinker? Oh, my, <laughs> that sounds a bit <clears throat> frightening. But it's science! Oh, well, then. Once upon a time, there was a slinking slinker who. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, um, are we sure we wouldn't rather hear these quaint and charming little nursery rhymes? Slinking Slinker! Slinking Slinker! A slinking slinker who had long, sharp, glistening teeth and a growl as loud as a foghorn. Oh, this sounds dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> this will be so much fun! I can't believe we're actually going! Aren't you excited, Orange? Orange? Is something wrong? Stop the bus! <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? I just remembered I forgot to bring... my tea. <laughs> tea? We can get some in Berry Big City. 
not my special blend. It, it's my own blend, mine, my very own. I cannot get it anywhere else. I... I guess there's time to go back. And the slinky slinker slinked into the night, and nobody ever knew what happened to it, and that's all the end! Yay! Read it again! Read it again! No, no, no. It's past my... Uh, er, past your bedtime. Uh, come along now, come along. Oh, Off you go. Get to bed. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Don't think about... about that awful slinking slinker. Hey! Ah! Is everything all right, Berrican Bloom? All right? How could it be all right with that slinking slinker slinking about? Slinking slinker? Mm, that doesn't sound good. I should say, slinking slinkers are only the most terrifying creatures in existence. I read it in a science book. And you say there's one around here? Here, there, no telling where. That's how it is with slinking slinkers, you know. They slink. Well, I'm not scared. Why should I be afraid of a... Let's get Orange's tea so we can be on the road again. <laughs> a slinking slinker. Oh, goodness me. I'm sure there's a simple expl... What was that? And th that? We have to do something. We must protect Berry Bitty City while the girls are gone. We promised. Let's keep this to ourselves. No need to alarm the whole city. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I almost couldn't find it. Those barricans have my store too organized. Come on, let's get going. Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. Stop the bus! <laughs> what now? I left the hose running in the garden. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinking Slinker was almost safe. Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. It must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the berry kids to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I knew the Berrykins wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of... <gasps> trap! Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> well, hey, these look a lot like... Strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh... We needed to come back? <sighs> to check on the city? Um, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the slinking slinker. 
<laughs> the slinking slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby parakins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard well, someone slinking... Oh, my. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... It was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid? You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, Think of what's ahead. A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. Oh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, sweet beats. We can practice our song on the way. thinks it's time to change the menu at the cafe. Time to fire up the flavor, notch up the nachos, spice up the spice, dial up the delish. Meaning she wants to fix something that isn't broken. Well, as I always say, it's good to find new ways of doing things. Shows you take pride in your work. Barry Can Bloom has just delivered his crop of chilies. A hybrid I call the hot and not. Crossed half a jalapeno with a sun-sweet sugar plum and a hint of mint. Been growing them for years. I sort of like them, uh, but I don't imagine anyone else will. Mmm, they look beautiful and smell great. As much as I don't like to agree with my sister, she's right. 
I use them to make my hot and not chili sauce. Oh, what do you think? Mmm, that is the best chili sauce ever. We have to have it at the cafe. That's twice in one day I've agreed with her. I'm starting to get worried. It's wonderful, Barrack and Bloom. What's your secret? <laughs> no secret, really. I follow three simple rules. You can't rush. Everything takes time. Never give up. There's a solution for every problem. And always add a little loving care. Any job worth doing is worth doing well. Got a text message on my phone, but it says it's for you, Barry Can Bloom. It's from... Don't, don't tell me. When it's this time of year, I know who it's from. Tell him I brought here. Left town, out of the country, not expected back for a year. Or, or ten. Wait, he sent you a video. <laughs> who is this guy? <sighs> My cousin, Bertram. Boom! Where are you, cuz? I tried every number in Berry Bitty City. This time of year, I bury my phone in the bottom of a flower pot. Hey, you didn't bury your phone in the bottom of a flower pot again, did you? Ha, you know it's that time of year. What's he talking about? Uh, the chili sauce contest at the Big Berry County Fair. Hope you're not entering the contest. You know I'll win the golden chili again. <laughs> hey, just because we're cousins, I thought I'd give you a preview. This year, I've cooked my best batch yet using my most powerful peppers. Looky, looky! <laughs> Ready for a taste test, my little friend? I'll just give him a drip of a drop to warm up the palate, you see. Don't try this at home, eh? He's a trained professional. <laughs> Let's see you top that, cuz. <laughs> Sometimes he makes me so angry, I can just... just... <sighs> Do forgive me. Great galloping gooseberries. I've never seen him so upset. Cousin Bertram's been getting the best of me since... Well, as long as I can remember. When I entered the first hot sauce contest, well... Oh, he's won the golden chili every year. Oh, that is so, so wrong. Right, exactly. Oh, you don't need a gold medal to prove how good a chili sauce cook you are. Oh, thank you, my dear. But it wouldn't hurt. I mean, fine, sure, a medal isn't everything, but it's something, and that's better than nothing. And it'd be the perfect way to show up that, that ugh, cousin of yours. Sour's right. There's no reason you can't beat Bert. Uh, yes, but really, I I couldn't. It just isn't my 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 style. Style? When I was faced with making eight dozen rhubarb trifles in one night, did I say it just isn't my style? When my souffle deflated like a flat tire, did I climb under the covers and pull the sheet over my head? No! I say, enter that contest and beat them! Yeah! <laughs> you can oh, my it. dear. I know it. <laughs> I thank you, but really, it just isn't what I do. Maybe Barry Can Bloom should do what's comfortable for him. Of course he should. And that means he's got to win that contest. This year, the name Barry Can Bloom will mean hot sauce. Yes? Why, yes! This year is my year! To the Chili Patch! And victory! Victory! <laughs> <laughs> Can Bloom, you're going to have the hottest chili sauce that ever was. With this recipe Apple and I've cooked up, you'll flambe that bully birdie once and for all. How are those new chili peppers coming along? Oh, very nearly there, my dears. I call this one the Hoppin' Poppin'. Just a drop of Bloom's very best plant food. 
Careful now, there, Barry. <gasps> oh, yes. That's what we want to see. Aren't we ready for a taste test? Absolutely. Volunteers! Just try a drop, okay? Give it a moment. The hop and pop and chili pepper has a delayed reaction. Him. Another video. It's okay. You got him beat. He just doesn't know it yet. Greetings, cuz! I thought you might like to see how things are going here. Behold, my latest creation! There's hot, and there's hot, and that's hot. You'll just have to make yours even hotter. More peppers, Barry Can Bloom, the hottest you have. Hot sauce? It's rocket fuel. There's no way I could compete with him. How does he do it? Bertram? I don't know. He wins. He always wins. <sighs> There's no use going on. Wait, wait. Here, take a look at this. What am I supposed to look at? That. What is that stuff? <gasps> so that's his trick. Ooh, I should have known! That, my dear, is the hottest chili pepper in the Berry Bitty world! The Big Blue Blazer! Wow! Do you have any? Can you grow one? No, unfortunately, no. It's a very rare species. A giant chili that only grows under conditions which cannot be duplicated in a garden. Well, if Bertram got one, they gotta grow somewhere. So... Where? No one knows. It's said they need a speckle of sunlight, a dollop of dew, a whisper of wind, and a twist of morning mist. Speckle sunlight, dollop dew, wind whisper, twist mist. The meandering metal fits those conditions. Where exactly is this meandering meadow? You cross Dewdrop Dell, up Loganberry Hill, then a half a mile to the meadow. Sounds easy. If we get one of these big blue blazers, can you make it into hot sauce? Well, of course. But there's hardly time, my dear. The contest is only a day and a half away. How long would it take to get there and get back? If there's no bad weather, um, we can have it by noon tomorrow. Plenty of time. What do you say, Apple? Should we go for it? If it's a giant chili, we're gonna need some help bringing it back. I'll call Strawberry. <laughs> okay, Bloom. Have everything ready to go the second we bring the blue blazer back. Come on, Apple! Oh, it's lovely of them, but still hopeless. Bertram always finds a way to win. You 
you sure this is what he wants? Absolutely. Uh, keep his spirits up while we're gone, okay? How? I don't know. Distract him. Do that happiness thing you do. Let's go, go, go! We need to get to Loganberry Hill by nightfall. <laughs> Are we ready for more? <laughs> Wonderful! But be sure to leave room for dessert. We have a fresh butterberry pie that's simply scrumptious. I understand what you're doing, my dear. And I am very grateful for... Me? Oh, I'm just trying to feed you. And keep my mind off the contest. It's sweet of you, sweet. And it worked. I haven't thought at all about... Oh, where are you? You know you can't hide from me. Him. Hope you're not wasting time with the contest. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Take a look at... Thought I'd turn that off. It hardly matters, my dear. <sighs> He's right, of course. I'll never win that contest. But Bear can bloom. What is it you always say? Never give up. I do say that, don't I? And I won't give up. There's still time, still hope. If our friends get back by noon tomorrow. According to your map, we ought to be there right about... Ah! Oh! There must be something wrong! The map doesn't show this! We can't climb down there! It'd take a week! What are we gonna do? Hmm. Strawberry! I'm thinking about what Barry Kim Bloom says. There's a solution for every problem. Isn't this lovely? And no way for Cousin What's-His-Name to intrude. A package? For me? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> There's no hiding from me, Cuz! Can you hear it? My new batch of hot sauce simmering on the stove! The sound of victory! <laughs> Big blue blazer. <laughs> oh boy, we're having fun now. Say, want to go for a walk? No, uh -uh. why not? It's too chilly outside. <laughs> What you can do when oh, you really try. But we gotta get going. I know, Strawberry. But give us this moment to feel proud of what we've accomplished. We did it. And we did it for Berrykin Bloom. Right. But we gotta get going. Well, now what do we do? <gasps> we better not go out there. We have to find a way to... My, <sighs> what a predicament you have here. But I see you found the last blue blazer of the season. Still, it's not doing my cousin much good out here. 
Well, you don't need to worry. We'll take care of this. Oh, no. Let me help. I insist. What are you doing? Oh, me. Oh, my. Did I do that? Tisk tisk. What a shame. I've seen some low things in my day, but you are the lowest. You don't play fair, Barry Kim Bertram. No, I play to win. <laughs> <gasps> it's nearly noon. I'm sure they'll be here. It was an ambitious undertaking, my dear. I'd be very surprised if... There they are! You made it! You're back! And uh, the blue blazer? It's in the bottom of a gorge. In little pieces. But... but... what happened? Barry Kim Bertram! He destroyed the blue blazer! We're so sorry, Barry Kim Bloom. There's no cause to be, my dears. You tried your best, and that's all anyone can ask. <laughs> I guess we'd better pack all this up. Yeah, we'll do it. It's the least we can do. <laughs> what is that delicious aroma? Oh, another batch of hot and not sauce. I made it while I was waiting. Mmm! Isn't that good? We're adding it to the cafe's menu. Have you ever entered this in the contest? Oh, goodness, no. It's not nearly as hot as the sauce Cousin Bertie makes. But it's delicious. <laughs> and what really matters is, it's yours. You know, she's right. Mm -mm, never considered it before. Uh, but uh, why not? We don't have much time, but we can get it there if we hurry. Well, now all we can do is wait to hear from the judges. No, but, uh, uh, no, my dear, no. I hadn't thought about it, really, uh, until you just mentioned it. <laughs> Put it completely out of my mind. <laughs> hey, any word from the judges? Uh, not that I care, mind you. Uh, only curious. I came by to see if you've heard anything. Not yet, but we could get a call any second. It's them! Well, what did they say? How did Barry can... Blue? Where'd he go? He had to leave. Take a message. Oh, what did they say? No, no, never mind. I don't want to know. I mean, of course I do. And, oh, but I don't. And I do. <laughs> if you see what I mean. Ah! You won! Ah! <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> I did. Oh, oh, Cousin Bertie won't be happy about that. <laughs> he was disqualified for conduct unbecoming a chili grower. They said Barry Ken Bloom's saw showed great craftsmanship. A lot of time and effort went into it, and it was obviously made with great loving care. That's more than a sauce. It's you, Barry Ken Bloom. Really, my dear? I find myself speechless. I simply don't know what to say. Well, I do. I say get busy. Start making more hot and not sauce. We put it on our very best bits page catalog, and we're already getting orders. Oh, no. Not again. No, it's from the contest judges.
What a great idea, Apple, to expand our dessert line to our own dog biscuit business. Okay, Apple. Ready to be part of our very best biscuit assembly line? After I decorate the biscuits with doggy-friendly icing, you wait for the icing to set, say, a couple of minutes, then wrap each biscuit in a piece of the pink cellophane and tie on a ribbon. These are already set. I'm on it. Great, cause here we go. Another batch is done. If you find any that are broken or messy, just toss them in the discard box. These will be for the pups of Berry Bitty City. Won't they be pleased? This one's going all the way to Berry Farflung Township. They ordered six boxes. You know, these don't really look like dog biscuits. They don't? No, they really look more like cookies. <laughs> I see. Yeah, they do look pretty delicious, don't they? Like iced sugar cookies. Well, there isn't any reason we couldn't eat them. They're made from all natural, people-friendly ingredients, but they just look sweet. They're really more savory flavored. That's what dogs like. Savory? Yum. Strawberry means like the pretty icing doesn't have any sugar in it. It's sweet potato flavored. Dog friendly, of course. Sweet potato flavored? Yum. <laughs> Mm. Yeah! <laughs> Ew, gross. I saw what you did. What? She ate a dog biscuit. Apple ate a dog biscuit. Apple ate a dog biscuit. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, Sour. They have the same ingredients as a sweet potato cracker. Sweet and I taste tested them. Why don't you try one? Ew, no way. I'm not a four-legged creature who eats off the floor and wags its tail. <laughs> like some people we know. <laughs> <clears throat> These are ready to go to the post office, Sour. I think you went a little too far with your teasing. Why not apologize to Apple? <sighs> oh, Senorita Sensitive. Sorry, Apple, I was just kidding. <laughs> Did you really think Madame Key Lime could have done it? I wouldn't cross Madame Key Lime off your list of suspects if I were you girls. Sour. Hi, guys. Strawberries homemade triple berry muffins and spiced hot cider. Yum! That's so sweet of Strawberry to send those over. And for you to bring them, Apple. How's the book? Great! Suspenseful! Predictable! Can I pour you some nice hot... Sour, are you turning into a werewolf? Didn't you guys know Apple eats dog biscuits? <laughs> Yep, I saw her this very morning chowing down on, yeah, dog food. <laughs> she only tried one of our sweet potato doggy biscuits. <laughs> Told ya! <laughs> Sour, be nice or you can be excused from book club. Politeness is another one of our rules you seem to have forgotten. Oh, come on! I was only fooling around. You guys are so stern. <sighs> Sorry, Apple. That's coming along nicely, Apple. Once more, please. <laughs> That's okay. Try and relax. Hi, Sour. Can we help you? <laughs> Sour, stop your teasing. Can't you see we're having a lesson? Sorry. Just kidding. <sighs> That's the last 
last pineapple. You mean the last straw? Uh, yeah, sorry. On Berry Bountiful Island, they say last pineapple. But straw, pineapple, whatever. It's on now. Apple, where are you going? You were doing so well with your arpeggios. My arpeggios can wait. In the very big outback, when someone insults you three times, you're required to defend your honor. Uh, I'm not sure what is required in Berry Bitty City, but I don't think it's that. <laughs> Lemon? I really like the new shampoo you're using. It smells great. New? This is the same shampoo I've been using for weeks. <laughs> Hmm, that doesn't make sense. Smells like... Sandalwood? It's supposed to be lavender. <laughs> <laughs> that sandalwood smells familiar. <laughs> hey! How did dog shampoo get into this? Bottle. This is definitely my sandalwood scented dog shampoo. <gasps> <laughs> Didn't you all know? Sour likes to have her hair washed with dog shampoo, followed by a good dusting of flea powder. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Apple. Morning, Apple. I'll have my usual, please. Oh, it's over there at that table. Sour already got it prepared for you at a special table. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Ah. <laughs> Queen of Berryvania, and your Royal Highness, Princess Berrykin, thank you for your testimony. Ladies of the jury, you've heard the witnesses' testimony. How at our annual croquet tournament, our visiting royalty was soaked from head to toe with sparkle berry goop. And you've seen the damaged property from the cafe. All this caused by the feud between Sour and Apple. Have you reached a decision? <clears throat> we have. We all think a fair way to work this out is for Apple and Sour to spend the weekend camping at Berry Beautiful Meadow. Alone. <gasps> Together. <gasps> Okay, we're off. You're on your own. We'll see you back in town Sunday night. No earlier than sunset. Try and get along, please.
Look what you made me do. That looks... looked... good. I'm sorry. Never mind. I can always make another one. Really? <laughs> What if... Uh, what? What if... Oh, never mind. If you are going to keep bothering me by speaking, you might as well say something useful. If you make me one of those, I'll set up your tent. And my air mattress? Hmm. Okay, I'll blow up your air mattress if you make me dessert. Uh, oh, all right. Deal. Mm. This is pretty good. The campfire is not bad. Um, thanks for uh, making it. <laughs> You're welcome. This is better. Thanks. Dinner was um really good. <laughs> As good as the oatmeal I made you? <laughs> I have to admit, I really had you. You looked pretty goofy. Yeah, yeah, but my sprinkler thingy was worse. It's really all my fault. I started the whole thing with all my dog teasing. I'm sorry. Do you think they'll ever forgive us? I hope. Let's make it up to them. How? By you and me not playing any more pranks. Deal. <laughs> Did you hear giggling? Bouncing boysenberries. Look at them. Well, that worked better than I thought. <laughs> Howdy, Hi, girls. <laughs> I wasn't around to help with the biscuits this weekend. And I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Sounds like you and Sour worked things out. I'm glad. Sour is pretty cool. I hope she likes me. But I don't even cook. <sighs> I wish I was more like her. How about you help us by making your own biscuit recipe? My own? Really? Sure. We'll get you started and you can make up your own flavorings. You know, stuff doggies will like. Tea time! I have something for you. It's turtle shaped. I made it for you. My own recipe. It's carrot flavored. Okay, one for Scouty, one for Marmalade, one for Chiffon. Huh, where are you going? <gasps> Doesn't like my biscuits. I must be a terrible cook. What do I do? I can't give the other pups the biscuits I made them. They won't like them either. What if I gave you a crash course in cooking? Really? Would you, Sour? But you have to be serious. And pay attention. And follow orders. I promise. First, a cup of flour. Then a teaspoon of salt. Cup of flour, teaspoon of salt. Ah, oh, great. Just great. Cup of oil, teaspoon of paprika, tablespoon of lemon juice. Ah, oh, great. Just great. I knew it! I'm brilliant. Brilliant. Mmm. You are. You're a natural chef, Apple. Really, Sour? But I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I mean, how could...
could sweet pet Primrose be so, so fiendish? People always have a dark side, Sweet. Sweet doesn't have a dark side. <laughs> Hi, Apple. Glad to see you. Whatever. Brought the cider. So, who done it? Who knows? We're only on chapter four. Some people don't like to skip to the end. You want to know the real mystery? It's that you all sit here every week wondering about it instead of finishing the book at home. That was pretty good. Have a popover. I made him myself. Sour helped me. She taught me everything I know. Psych! <laughs> no, here, just kidding. They're really good, Apple. I knew it. I'm brilliant. Catch you later. Gotta go visit with my real friends. <laughs> See you! Not if I see you first. What? You were right about the dark side. What did you do to her? Just gave her a cooking lesson. And she's unnatural. And there was nothing natural about that. Nothing naturally. Apple, she's acting like... like you. Oh, no. She's a... sour... Apple. You know, last time, Lemon, my polish chipped in one day. Maybe a free makeover is in order? Well, I did warn you to wait till it dried, but you rushed out of here. I don't have time for slow drying polish. <sighs> it's normal drying, but hey, Beauty Betty, are you paying attention to what you're doing? <gasps> what did you say? You got polish on my fingertip. Do you think you can keep it on the nail, or do we need to get you connected dots? <gasps> Whoa. Apple, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into me? Hmm. I think I learned to cook in one day, but Lemon needs to go back to beauty school for, like, forever. <gasps> Apple? I've had it with this chop shop. Good luck, good riddance, and goodbye. <laughs> Sour? Oh, it's you. You what? I want to give you a free makeover to correct what happened this morning. Uh-huh. Well, I guess so. Now that's more like it. Hello, Apple. What's the deal? How can I get my free makeover with all these customers ahead of me? Oh, no, no, no. You're first in line. They've been waiting for you. Oh, well, that's better. Sit here by me. We just want to tell you what we think of the new apple. New apple? You see, we really miss the old apple. You used to be so sweet. And now you say mean things that hurt our feelings. But I thought you'd like me more. I'm glad you and I are friends. And I'm flattered you like me, but I don't want you to act like me. You don't? Just cook like me. <laughs> don't you think one meanie in Berry Bitty City is enough? Oh, I guess so. I miss the old apple, too. You mean you already liked me the way I was? Yes! And maybe the old apple could give me a crash course. In what? Friendliness. Hey! That's what Tea Time did with my biscuit. He didn't like it. Oh, no. They're saving them for later. To a pup, that's the highest compliment. You mean? Yep. Tea Time loves your cooking. Just the way it was. Even before I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs>